is a major game today. What's at stake in this one? Well, a huge game with for that. Villanova. So still... how do you explain to Philadelphia if you re-sign him again and then he has problems next year? Then it... John Celestan. Yeah, John Celestan. Along with the yeah, player, like, John Celestan. Next to me is Mr. I'm John Celestan. This is alongside the player, John Celestan. They hold the team to about 40%. So it's going to be very difficult. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Kevin Connors, John Celestan. Delighted to be with you. That's the first, John. It's a major game today. What's at stake in this one? Well, a huge game for Villanova. They're still trying to cement themselves in the NCAA tournament. They have this game against a ranked team. They also have to play against Georgetown. So a win would be great for them. Yeah, Villanova did it on the outside with Archie Diakono from the three-point line. He was able to knock down a few trifectas to get Villanova going. And on the inside, it was Javon Pinkston. Great footwork, strength inside. He and Archie Diakono combined for 20 points in the first half going to put a little sauce on this one with a nice pass right there inside and the finish by Johnson. And check out this alley-oop right here. He's in the air. I mean, he's up high enough. He hung around a little bit and waited on that one. For guards, it's about court vision. Head up. Matt makes the little bullet bounce pass inside to Randall for the easy two. I mean, he's just going to play bully ball. And Oliver, I mean, he's planted there like an oak tree. Watch Johnson right here. He'll catch it in the post. Nice entry pass by Seegers. And then he'll give him a little shoulder fake. Nice pivot. Uses his body and makes it count. And give credit to Rutgers. They're just doing a great job not allowing dri dribble penetration. If you do get a little bit of a shoulder by a guy, here comes somebody else to help in that paint. You know, talking to Coach Williams, he, he says not just scoring in the paint. They want to get touches in the paint. They want to get that basketball inside as much as possible. I like that. You say he's lurking. Yeah, lurking, just waiting. But you have to have anticipation. That's a skill. Yeah, the games are won in those last five minutes. And with how close this game is now, you're kind of thinking, well, who can execute down the stretch? And that's been the problem for both Rutgers and Seton Hall. Right here, a little bounce pass. And give Phil Green credit. He came to a great jump stop under control and was able to make the perfect pass, which was that little bounce pass in the pocket. This was like the monkey off the back for the Philadelphia 76ers. And you think about the Sacramento Kings, the worst defensive team in the league. Then you have the Sixers, the worst offensive team in the league. So you think something has to give. Right. I think we found out tonight that Sacramento's defense is worse than the Philadelphia 76ers offense. Yeah, right? Sixers this is why we brought Darrell Wright to Philadelphia. You know, he's been known as a sniper, a marksman, um, had a great preseason. Then as the season started, didn't really shoot the basketball as well. As of late, he's been playing better. Uh, so when it comes down to it, it's about getting W's, and, and things can look great in the stat sheet. If you don't get the win, if you can't finish games off, then, you know, stats are for suckers, as my dad used to tell me all the time. Absolutely. Doesn't if really you're looking for an offensive, free-flowing, up-and-down game, I don't think it's going to be that type of game tonight. I think it's going to be a very ugly game. I think the Sixers are going to have to out-ugly the Pacers. Is Miami's dominance good for the NBA to have a team that's this dominant? It's great for the NBA. Anytime you have a team with star power, this is a star-driven league. This is not like the NFL where it's about, this is about stars, okay? And LeBron James and D. Wade are the biggest stars that you can get. So when you have a team that's winning, two guys like that that command attention, I think it's great. 